Mitosis and Meiosis, a very short introduction. Eukaryotic cells differ in many ways from prokaryotic cells, most dramatically by the presence of a membrane-bound organelle, the nucleus, within the cytoplasm. It is within the nucleus that the chromosomes are located. These are linear molecules and typically many different linear DNA molecules, many different chromosomes. This complicates cell division. During interphase, each chromosome molecule is replicated. Upon division, known as a process known as mitosis, the nuclear envelope breaks down and the chromosomes, which were extended before, condense into compact structures. Each chromosome has been duplicated previously, and there are two sets, one inherited from the paternal parent, the second from the maternal parent. During mitosis, these chromosomes align on a molecular machine known as the mitotic spindle. After mitosis, each daughter cell receives one copy of each maternal and one copy of each paternal chromosome. Mitosis is the process that is responsible for the replication of cells within your body. But sexual reproduction involves a specific set of cells and is carried out by a modified form of mitosis known as meiosis. In meiosis, the chromosomes replicate and the cell enters the meiotic process. The nucleus dissolves, the chromosomes condense, but now something different happens. Each chromosome has become paired with its homologue. The chromosome from the mother pairs with the chromosome from the father. This does not occur in mitosis. The chromosomes align on the meiotic spindle and separate. Each daughter of the first meiotic division contains either the maternal or the paternal copy of each chromosome. Which copy it receives is random. Now the cell enters the second meiotic division. This time there is no DNA replication. After meiosis, each daughter cell has one copy of either the maternal or the paternal chromosome. It is haploid. It has a full set of chromosomes, but only one copy of each. Fusion of gametes at fertilization generates a new organism with two copies of each chromosome, one from the maternal parent, the other from the paternal parent. Now you should be able to explain why it is that meiosis generates genotypic diversity while mitosis does not. 